Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you with you guys how to do zoom ins on iMovie on your iPhone. It just helps to add some more emotion to your videos or just draw attention more to a certain thing that you're saying in your videos. It's such an easy tool to use and I really recommend using it, especially when you're just talking to the camera and using a roll. It's just very helpful to make it a bit more interesting. Okay, so let's go into iMovie so that I can actually show you guys how this works. Really easy, like I said. I'm gonna be using this video as an example. This was my iPad Pro review. I'll have that in the iTop if you wanna check it out. I love how this video turned out. So definitely go check it out in the link in the description box below in the eye up top. So you can see I have a shot where I'm kind of talking to the camera for a while here. And if there's something that I said that I feel needs more emphasis or just maybe like a joke or something that I said that I feel like needs more emphasis also, I love just doing a zoom in. It's very easy to do. So as you can see, I just cut up some clips and the whole portion that is here that is split is going to be zoomed in. So this entire clip is going to be zoomed in. So how you do this, click on this magnifying glass up here. Then it says pinch to zoom, so then you just zoom in with your fingers however much you want. I, like I said, don't love to do too dramatic of a zoom in. Let's play that and see what it looks like. I just like. think that's a, something to take away from this video. If you did enjoy this review, okay, so I actually like how that turned out. So that's basically how you do it. Sometimes what I like to do is I take one clip, so this one, I zoom into it. Usually very little amount of zoom in on the first Bit, so like so and then the second clip I zoom in even more so if there's two things back to back that I want to emphasize so then it goes like this yeah I just think that's a, something to take away from this video if you did enjoy this and then review it goes back give to your main framing that you had at the beginning so I love to do back to back ones as well sometimes on iMovie you also have something called Ken Burns which gradually zooms into a photo Sadly, iMovie on your iPhone does not allow for Ken Burns on videos, only on photos. So if you want to know how that works, I'll just quickly show you guys. So I'm going to import a photo here. So as you can see, the photo already moves around a lot, and that is because of Ken Burns. So you can either turn it off, so just Ken Burns disabled, so now it's a still standing image. Or you can go Ken Burns enabled. So then you choose your start position, so I'm going to zoom that all the way out, and then your end position. Yeah, I'm going to zoom in a bit. Maybe I want to zoom in. <laughs> this is going to be very dramatic on the top of the Apple Pencil or something, just to sh clearly show you guys. So for the whole duration of that clip, it's going to move from the starting point to the ending point that you set. Like so. So that's really how it works. So if there's something that you maybe want to show in a photo and zoom into, that's how Ken Burns works. It's really easy, and if you want to do the whole zoom in thing, you just disable Ken Burns and then just zoom in like that. So then it just automatically zooms in. It doesn't have any kind of animation to it. I'm sad that they don't allow it on videos on your phone. I do know iMovie on the computer allows it, but yeah, what can you do? But okay, that's how you do zoom ins on iMovie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below any other questions you might have for me. Definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click my playlist to see all of my other iMovie related tutorials and click on the video to see my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.